is uh, a deal for Zal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the end of day's uh, session, Thursday, 27th of October, 2016. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com, and you can download the app from the uh, Google Play and the uh, Apple App Store. Okay, now let's look at the actual uh, uh, market numbers, end of day. You have the um, FTSE 100 certainly finishing strongly towards the close, a late surge past 7,000 after hours. The German DAX up 7 points, the French CAC more or less flat. Same with the uh, Euro stock. So, interesting story today. Uh, we basically had the Nikkei up 40 odd points, uh, the Shanghai more or less flat, but the Hang Seng down almost a percentage uh, coming into the uh, obviously Monday's trading, now, or should we say Thursday's trading. Now, Yesterday, the night before, we had Tesla earnings stronger, Texas Instruments stronger as well. So certainly helping. We had Twitter earnings that came out today stronger. I mean, we had a barrage of earnings. I mean, we had uh, Lloyd's TSB on the stronger side. Barclays on the stronger side. Lloyd's yesterday. Barclays certainly on the stronger side. BT certainly on the stronger side. Deutsche on the stronger side. Volkswagen on the stronger side. So earnings certainly stronger. Now, we had G UK GDP numbers certainly on the stronger side, although... Looking into the finer fine print, it certainly was uh, one of weakness. Although UK CBI data came out stronger than expected, we had this uh, potential uh, purchase of Qualcomm purchasing uh, another smaller. Or it's uh, it's 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 basically its um, competitor, uh, and certainly again looking good. Uh, Dow Chemicals uh, earnings stronger, Nokia earnings stronger, Ford earnings stronger, Bristol Myers earnings stronger. So. Overall, net net earnings stronger. That was really the theme. So certainly should help equities, and certainly should help lift equities higher. So the argument really is that the uh, even if we do get a rate hike from the U.S., the uh, equity market should be able to withstand it. Now, having said that, uh, later on in the session, in terms of U.S. data, really uh, the uh, continuing jobless claims came in slightly weaker. Initial jobless claims, durable goods orders as well came in slightly weaker. Though although pending home sales came in on, on a stronger side. So US data certainly mixed, although majority of the data really came on the weaker side and therefore one would expect a weaker dollar. One would expect a weaker dollar. Now, the US dollar certainly is very interesting because it's all about the dollar and today obviously the bond market's certainly collapsing as well. Yields certainly spiking and thereby helping the, uh, the actual currency or the, the US dollar itself. You can see the 10 year there certainly breaking key support and uh, certainly pushing lower here now whether or not this continues and the US dollar continues to fly is another question okay so certainly some technical damage done let's bring up the chart of the US dollar and give you an insight there as well you can see the daily chart the topping tail still holding from the uh, from the uh, 25th of October so again that'll be interesting to see whether or not we can hold that pivot high and start to move lower you can see here I mean it's been quite a hell of a move in the dollar index uh, let's go to a 60 minute chart now give you a better insight again if we do continue to go higher then you are going to test that 13 and you are going to test that 131.5 level okay so it's all about that 131.5 zone okay i was expecting this uh, to certainly hold us resistance and then for us to test the 200 ma potentially retest the previous breakout that hasn't been the case uh, even though us data like i said certainly came in on the weaker side net net and therefore one would not expect the dollar to certainly continue its, continue its surge certainly has done even with the euro usd breaking that 1.09 level again interesting now i'm currently long the aussie with stop loss at 7570 i'm currently long the, uh, the the kiwi as well so it should be interesting to see which way this market plays out stop loss on kiwi i think it's at 0.7094 so again, a 30 point stop loss there as well. Certainly moving against me on, on both trades. Certainly negative on both trades, certainly moving against me. I also have a long NASDAQ position as well on this retracement. So you're looking for the NASDAQ to start to move higher. So interesting scenario. We have copper certainly surging, strong day for copper, yet uh, the uh, the actual Aussie and Kiwis have failed to really capitalize on that. And it will be interesting to see how this market closes. Okay, NASDAQ certainly into support. So therefore, one would expect U.S. markets certainly to uh, hold their own and uh, for the U.S. market certainly to push high in the back of stronger earnings. OK, now let's look at the technical picture for European markets now. German DAX, folks. OK, let's go to the German DAX 10 minute day daily chart. Sorry, certainly uh, holding. OK, so previous uh, uh, resistance equals support on the German DAX. So again, technically OK. 60 minute chart in German DAX. Yes, we are concerned about this HS formation. This is your biggest concern. But with the euro dropping now below 1.09, very, very hard. 
also earning stronger as well very very hard so again um, given the fact that um, tapering uh, concerns certainly have been negated as well uh, and talk of QE being extended into March 2017 etc etc it certainly does bode well for the European uh, Euro stocks okay so uh, European equity certainly does bode well especially with the euro below that 1.09 level regardless okay 10 minute chart German DAX at the moment really we fail to make lower lows okay so if anything we're making higher lows okay and that certainly is reminiscent of bullish price action so again bear that in mind let's move on to the French CAC now okay so the French CAC daily chart yes we're still holding that uh, key um, resistance zone okay so the do doji candle is certainly ready 60 minute chart yes you need to be aware that you still have this HNS formation so that's something that you know so you need to be aware of and be open to okay so again open to both potential scenarios whether it's bullish or bearish 10 minute chart certainly have made a base fail to make new lows okay so therefore looking for a higher high now and a potential retest that a resistance at 4550 so it certainly is going to be interesting with regards to the uh, uh, CAC as to which way it will go again a lot of that will just uh, hinge on the euro usd 10 minute chart the year of the uh, FTSE 100 daily chart at the moment your previous resistance equals support so certainly holding so again looking for bullish momentum previous support equals resistance here at uh, 6986 so just bear that in mind there is a key resistance level here but having said that like i said before sterling certainly has been bashed today back down to below 1.22 therefore helping the FTSE stronger retail sales stronger GDP overall does certainly bode well but then one can argue that uh, you have a strong argument for raising rates uh, and no more additional QE from the uh, BOE so again that certainly is an interesting argument but it has been gyrating all day has been very volatile hitting a lower 4920 and then back up to 7000 so again interesting scenario 10 minute chart the FTSE 100 again retesting resistance at 6980 and then obviously you have 7000 resistance so again indicating weakness so looking for a potential short opportunity there on the FTSE 100 folks okay right and that certainly is a summation now we can certainly look at the euro stocks just to give you an insight here euro stocks again all eyes on that HS formation whether or not it will play out uh, again it's a different story especially with stronger earnings it seems certainly seems very very unlikely again retesting those highs okay but high today was 3096 failed to go past that uh, 3100 level it'll be interesting to see how this unfolds okay on that note be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the uh, additional bonus goodbye